the review on the Michael Kors tote. All right, the retail price of this bag is $2.78, and I paid retail price, and I'm very ashamed of myself for paying retail price because I normally don't pay retail price, but I really wanted this bag. I was going on um, spring break to Atlanta, and I wanted this bag to take with me so I can just have everything with me when we were um, doing the tourist stuff. And I'm glad I did get it. All right. Alright, this is the bag. The measurements are 11 and a half <clears throat> inches in height, 17 in um, length, and the width is, I think it was 5, 5 or 6 inches width. Alright, this is the bottom of the bag. It doesn't have any feet, which I'm kind of okay with that because the leather, um, it's like a coated leather, so it doesn't get damaged really easily. So, I haven't had any problems with the um, the corners or the bottom. And it's really easy to take care of. If it gets dirty, you can just wipe it off. Alright, this is the front. You can see Michael Kors written on the front. And then it comes with a little bag charm. And then, um, these are the straps. The straps are very thin. Which, if you you um, put too much stuff in the bag, oof, they cut your um cut your shoulder real bad. That's the only thing I don't like about the thin straps. But the one thing I do like about this straps being so thin is that they stay in place when you put them on your shoulder. You don't have to worry about them sliding, sliding down because they're so thick. So they stay in place. I do like that. All right. Um. Oh, but the straps, they have this little, um, I don't know what it's called. I can't think right now. But they have this and it will make you believe that it's adjustable, but it's not. I mean, I guess you could put holes in it yourself if you want to, but I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to risk messing up the bag. But this is the front. This is the back. All right, this is the side. And this is not an everyday bag because it's so big. I would only use this bag for traveling, from going on vacation or something. I would not carry this bag day to day. Because I'm short and it just it kind of overpowers me. But um I have been using it for work for a while. So it's a good work bag, good travel bag, but not a good day-to-day -day bag because it's so big. Alright, this is what it looks like on. And I'm five one. This is where it sits on me. If you know it's it's like so much wider than me. It looks kind of crazy for me to carry this bag day to day. Alright, this is what it looks like here. Which I wouldn't dare carry this bag in the crook of my arm because he's hanging it piled up and it gets so heavy. It's intended to be a tote bag and that's the way I carry it. Alright, and again, it's the um, coated leather. So when I got the bag, I was expecting it to, I was expecting to smell the leather. Like with my Dunia Bird bags or my Coach bags. I like the way the leather smells. This bag did not have that smell. But on the plus side, it's easy to take care of. Alright, let's look at the inside. Alright, so to attach it, it's, there's no zipper. It's just like this little clasp. And you just attach it here. Well, easier said than done. worry about things falling out of it because I keep all of my small stuff like in smaller um smaller little smaller bags so I don't worry about that all right and please excuse the inside because I have got my money's worth out of this bag so I really have been using it so it's a little soiled in the inside all right this is the inside just one open hole here You notice the size, it's an open pocket. It's a very thin pocket, but you can fit items in there, but you don't want to weigh it down. On this side, it's another pocket here with a zipper, and then it has like the leash for your keys. The one thing I do like about this bag is that the pockets are attached to the um the little 
I can't explain this. But the little um I don't know what this, what you want to call this, but this little thing. It goes all the way through and holds the pockets in place. So I do like that. So my pockets don't get real heavy and way back down in the middle. And it makes it sturdier. Inside is Is this type of material uh, not as easy to clean as the outside because it's textured. All right, the bottom is easier to clean because it has like it has the same feel as the outside of the bag, all the way at the bottom. But the inside, the inside lining is textured, so it's not as easy to clean. much more to say about this bag. It's just a good travel bag, good vacation bag, good beach bag, um, good work bag, but not an everyday bag. But in my opinion, it was worth the money. I have gotten my money's worth out of it. So all in all, I do like it. So hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.